Yo, what's up, it's Mochi. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make an aggressive camera shake transition. First, what you wanna do is over here, search adjust, and then you want to drag your adjustment clip onto video two. Make it about 10 frames, eight to 10 frames is fine. And then you're gonna want to right click your adjustment clip, open fusion, come up here to the top right, click this so it'll become full screen. Select your media in one, Press shift space, search for your directional blur, click it and then press enter. And then what we're gonna do is keyframe this. So make sure your zero is selected right here. Come to your length, make sure it's at zero. Go to the very end, keyframe it again. Drag it up so it's at point 0.1. And then what we wanna do is make sure your spline graph is selected up here. Open that up. Press this to make it fit. Select both of your nodes. Press S. And then make it look just about like this. Alright, let's go up here. Set your angle to 90. Go to the very start at 0. We're keyframing below now. So keyframe from 0. Whatever you really like. Whatever looks best. This is a pretty bright clip, so like point one is fine it seems like unselect your length make it just about the same you'll get something that looks similar to about that and then to make it even more aggressive we can add a camera shake let's make it mostly wide deviation make sure it's on mirror for the edges randomness doesn't really matter you can make about like 0 to 0.1 i recommend 0 speed 1 for keyframing the strength from 0 to 1 rotation deviation doesn't really make a difference you can have it on there if you want i'm just gonna leave mine off we're going to unselect the directional blur Make sure your overall strength is selected for the spline graph. Make it fit. Press your S again. Just about the same. Now I should get something just like this. All right, now we're gonna do the exact same thing, but make the second clip a bit shorter. About seven, eight frames, I'm gonna do seven. All right, now what we're gonna do is make the exact same thing. So get your directional blur, your camera shake, keyframe the glow and length once again. Make the glow just about the same. Length, 0.1, angle, 90. 0.1 to zero for length, however much for glow to zero. Go to your spline graph. Select this once again to make it fit. You can do both at the same time. Make them the opposite. Alright, now we're done with this. Unselect that. Go to your camera shake. All the settings the same. I'm going to make the X zero this time. Go to your edges. Mirror. Now we're going to keyframe the overall strength from 1 to 0. Go to your spline graph, select both. The exact same. Now it should look like this. All right. And that is exactly how you make an aggressive camera shake transition in DaVinci Resolve. Make sure to go into the description down below and peep my Discord. Within my Discord, you can also go into the suggestions tab and leave any suggestions for any videos I should make in the future. So yeah, I appreciate your time. It's Mochi. Peace.